The ending to a story can make or break a game, and oftentimes perfectly good gaming titles are ruined by a rushed finale or a closing sequence that seems to make no sense in the larger context of the plotline. Even though we can still enjoy a good game throughout most of its story, it might not end exactly like we'd like it to. Bad conclusions seem to stay with us for a very long time, so in today's video we're going to talk about 9 games that had the worst finales. Naturally, talking about endings constitutes as a spoiler, so keep this in mind if you still want to experience these games by yourself. The Metal Gear Solid franchise is known for its consistent plot lines that create the perfect framework for its immersive stealth gameplay. However, the ending moments from Sons of Liberty left many players with a bad taste in their mouth. After you've passed through so many difficult situations and grown fond of Raiden and the other characters, you finally find out that what you've experienced was a mere simulation and the Colonel was actually a robot AI. After sweating for several hours during the insanely difficult levels of this 8-bit platformer, you finally beat the final boss and think you've won. The surprise is that the developers had totally different plans for you and you'll have to start the entire game all over again, and on top of all that, you only have a meek substandard weapon, making the enemies even harder to beat and leaving you with sheer frustration until you reach the real ending of the game. Spending your time fighting hordes of enemies with the sole purpose of finding the promised holy grail of loot and finding out that it was all just a ruse is definitely not a nice way of finishing a game. Borderlands had us thinking that we're going to get our hands on a secret vault full of guns only to make us defeat one final boss whose demise actually closes up the exact vault we were desiring for good. Shame on you Borderlands for deceiving us in such a cruel way. The profound rivalry between Guybrush and LeChuck is a well-known trope of the Monkey Island universe, and this is why the finale of the second installment from the series left us totally unimpressed. The idea of them being two brothers who only took on the roles of Guybrush and LeChuck for a few hours of play is simply not a satisfying ending, and the game's creators have been questioned about the meaning behind this idea ever since players first finished their game, but with no solid response, unfortunately, this far. It's a known fact that KOTOR 2 was a rushed game, but we didn't quite imagine that the developers were in such a hurry that they actually decided to completely cut out an animated ending and simply replace it with a bland story told by Kraya. Being a character that is not very popular, gamers were unpleased with her way of telling them the fate of their loyal allies after the bomb exploded and everything ended. The biggest disappointment being that they weren't rewarded with any decent cutscenes of the aftermath. Only by introducing the DLC that changed Shepard's fate, Mass Effect 3 was able to offer fans an almost satisfying way of ending the game, all the other closing moments being essentially the same and giving no real closure. The death of the beloved commander in all of the possible endings was met with such an abundant wave of discontent that the developers were practically forced to produce an alternate ending that could quench the gamer's thirst for justice. Many fans have felt that Assassin's Creed 3 doesn't have the finale it deserves, its excellent gameplay being overshadowed by a poorly written ending that left them wanting more. On top of this, the decision Desmond makes to surrender to Juno and not continue as an assassin felt like a totally wrong option, making fans feel a bit confused when they saw this ending. All in all, Assassin's Creed 3's finish just didn't fall into place and it felt odd for quite a big part of the game's fanbase. Even though Half-Life 2 was an incredibly good game, the ending of Episode 2 left us totally shaken and filled with an unconsumed rage. After Eli Vance is impaled by an advisor, Alex cries for help and begs Gordon to do something, and that's pretty much it. The game ends and the third episode is probably not going to happen very soon as Valve is incapable of counting to three. The game's ending is so frustrating because it feels like a cliffhanger to a title that is probably never going to happen, the most annoying aspect being the uncertainty that haunts everybody's minds. After you are forced to fight your fellow survivor friends to grab the stash of diamonds they're protecting and give them to a crime lord named Jaggle, you'll be faced with a very difficult situation where whatever you'll choose will end with you dead. 
You can go with manually detonating a bomb or bribing the pursuing soldiers and then shooting yourself in the head. Why, you may ask? Nobody knows, so you'll just have to go along with the fact that in Far Cry, you need to die in the end of the game. Anyway, you had terminal malaria, so sooner or later you kind of had to go. This was our list highlighting some games with absolutely horrible endings and we hope you've enjoyed our video. If you did, please press that like button as we do appreciate it and it helps us immensely. We often ask our audience for suggestions to compile these lists. If you'd like to contribute, please follow Frag Hero on Facebook. If you know of any other examples of bad endings, please tell us in the comments below because we do try to read pretty much everything. Now would also be a good time to encourage you to subscribe because we upload new stuff all the time so subscribing will keep you up to date with all of our latest videos. You can also check out FragHero.com for more gaming related articles but until next time, thanks for watching and have a great day.